Hello friends, my name is Sagar Mori and today in this video we are going to see HTML link, link colors and link bookmark. So let's start with the link first. A hyperlink is created with the help of anchor tag. So when you see a link in email or on WhatsApp or anywhere on a web page and you click on it, it redirects you to somewhere. As example, you can see my address bar here on my screen which is w3school.com slash html slash html links dot asp so this is the link which is for this particular web page so each web page or website has its own unique link that is called as url url is a uniform resource locator so that is unique and that is a locator for your address which you can use in your anchor tag as a href attributes value let me show you with the help of one example so you can create your own anchor tags and links in your web page okay so here is the syntax for the same as you can see on my screen i have opened and tried to yourself editor and here anchor tag is mentioned with the help of a symbol and let me create one document on my local computer to show you how it works I can do that in try it yourself as well. So here I open it in notepad and there is an anchor tag in my document. Let me show you how you can do that. So here on my screen, there are three types of colors which anchor tag has. A blue color which is the default one whenever you see a link which is not yet visited or not yet clicked. That link is getting highlighted as blue color. If you have clicked on that link or you have previously clicked or visited that link, that color becomes purple. And if you click on that link and you do not release your mouse button, then it appears as red color like this. Now I have visited the link. If I run it again, it is purple since it is a visited link. Let's say we have visited this link, but if I change this address to something else, which I have not yet visited, then in that case, if I run this code, it shows blue color because the link is pretty new to the browser and user has not yet clicked on it. So this is a default behavior browser to set blue color to unvisited link, purple color to visited link and red color to active link. When you press the mouse left button, on that link and do not release that button then active class gets applied so these are the pseudo classes we will learn it in future for now just see how href attribute is given to the anchor tag and value is w3 schools the same way you have to apply your value to your anchor tag and there is one attribute target which help you to open that link in a new tab as well if you want so attribute values are underscore self underscore blank underscore parent and underscore top we are going to use underscore blank since underscore self is a default value underscore parent is something related to the frames which we were using in 90s or around 1995 uh, till 2005 that time frames were popular but now nobody uses the frame and there are advanced methods available that's why we load document with the help of ajax and there are other ways to load the document so we are not going to use that underscore parent as well because that was to open the link in the parent frame mm -hmm. underscore top was something also related to the frames when you click on the link the frame which is at the top inside that the window or the document used to load and these things we don't use so default is self which you don't need to apply because whenever you click on a link it opens in the same window itself but if you want to open it in the new window underscore blank value is going to help you let me show you how okay so here underscore blank is value is written as a target attribute and when i click the new tab is getting opened instead of this same tab so this is the use of underscore blank value in the target attribute and there you can give absolute URL or relative URL as well. So if 
the URL or the link which you want to open is not there in your folder as a web page and it is some other URL like website or external website then you can just give absolute path as HTTP or HTTPS colon two forward slash slash and uh, the URL part which is the domain name and uh, whatever path it has so that you can give as an absolute value and if you have HTML file ready or any other file like image or video or anything you want to open when you click on the link and if you want have already ready in your folder then you can just give the name of that file with the extension and it will get open and that is called a relative path okay so let's see the next topic let me show you one example where absolute path and relative path both are there so this first and second link are absolute path where full path is written since they are not in our control but these asp files are there in the folder or besides the html or in the same folder that's why we can just give the name and if it is inside a folder like the last link which is a css folder then we can give uh, css slash our file name which is present inside that folder so this is the way to link the files or the web pages to the anchor tag and i hope it is clear now and you can create your own links okay so in this example text was there inside anchor tag but if you want image to be linked then you can give image inside anchor tag so image is a child of anchor tag here you can give any link you want and when you click on that image the site will get open see the site is getting open when i click on this image that's because the image is linked with anchor tag so in the code if you see anchor tag is there which has value default.asp and inside that image is there instead of text if you want you can give text as well to see how it works and previously it was working like this so if i run the saga text is there which i see and when i click on it the website is getting open but now let's say we don't want the text we want the image then we can give image inside that anchor tag and when we run the code the image will appear but we, this time it will be clickable and when you click on it the same thing will happen which was happening with the text which is to open the website and when you run this code the it will work as expected now let's say we don't want to open a website or a web page or any other document like image or pdf or anything else but we want to send email to someone or let user send email to us then in that case you can write mail to prefix in href like this so when i click on it it will prompt me to open the mail or outlook or whichever email client you have configured in your pc and that will open this particular email which you have written in href value so it will be very useful to the user to send email to you directly without entering your email into their email client in a to field so we have to field then subject field body field cc field bcc field and so on so these fields we feel generally but when we type in there in to field we type recipient's email address and that we need not to type if we do that and link our email address this way look at this code this value someone at example.com should be the actual value which is your email address and before that you should always write mail to prefix and colon so the browser gets to know that whenever someone clicks on this link the email pop-up should appear which will help the user to send email to that particular email address which you have written here directly so mostly you can use this in your contact page where you give your address email address phone number and all for phone numbers you can just write tell prefix instead of mail to write your number run it and when you click on it your browser will show you the pop-up to call the user directly if you are opening this in a mobile then when you click on this link then 
the dial pad gets open automatically and in which your number is already typed there the user can directly click on the call button and call you so these things will help you in your contact section or contact page where you list all your contact related information there mail to and tell prefixes can help you to link your mobile number and email address so next is button as a link so this is something related to javascript which we need not to look in the html section but for your information i am just showing you what it is so button tag is there which we usually use in form but we can directly use it somewhere else as well if we want just a button and when user clicks on it so that is a on click attribute the document means the current document and the location is address bar and the default.asp so this particular url will be replaced in address bar why it is not replacing in the my web page is because i am opening the view in the iframe and that's why it got opened at the right hand side as output but uh, you can ignore it for now we will see it in javascript lectures okay what we have next this we have already covered which is a relative value and here what is we just saw so we saw anchor tag href target image mail to and we also have seen tell prefix so let's go to the next chapter which is different links we can color as we have already seen the link is in blue by default but if you want to change the color of it you can write code this way in your internal css or external css you can do that and you should not be doing it with inline css because it is not feasible now here if you see the code i am writing it in internal css with the help of style tag where i am selecting anchor tag so anchor tag is a selector colon colon is a pseudo class and which pseudo class i am using is the link pseudo class and inside that block of code means the curly bracket open and close i am writing different properties and values of css the color green i am writing background color transparent and text decoration none why text decoration none is because by default link has underline and i don't want to see that underline on the output so you can give text decoration none and it will remove the underline so this is the first block of code the second block of code we have is anchor tag visited so visited here is a pseudo class which tells the browser that whenever someone sees a visited link then at that time instead of purple color show them the pink color with background transparent and text decoration none let's run the code and see the output of this okay here we are here we are not able to see green color because the link we have already clicked that's why we are not able to see the green color the color here is pink and that is because whatever href value it has that is already visited by our browser we are able to see pink color because here if you see visited pink color we have written because this link was visited now i change the link and we see green color because this particular link in href we have not yet visited and that's why we see green color as a default color instead of blue color now background is transparent and if you want to change it you can always do that with any color name and i run the code and see the output it is getting reflected the same with text decoration if i remove that by default underline is getting applied and if i apply that underline will be removed now let's see what all other pseudo classes we have related to link and we have hover and active here so we have already seen hover in our earlier video that whenever mouse is hovered to that link then it gets applied for now uh, hover color is red i have given so this is the way to write anchor tag colon hover and block of code in which color red is there background color transparent and text decoration underlined so i don't want to see the underlined by default but i would like to see it when the user moves mouse cursor on that link let me change that color to yellow and now see when i hover my mouse on that link it is getting changed that is because hover pseudo class 
we have another pseudo class which is active so active is nothing but when we user clicks on that link but does not release the mouse button and holds it there itself then the effect gets applied so here i am writing purple just to see the effect and see when i clicked on it and but does not release the mouse it, the purple color is getting applied okay so these four were pseudo classes link visited active and hover that you can use for the links and set different style to it not only the color but also other styles what we have next is link button that is not something new because link button is nothing but a link only but with the help of css they have styled it to look like a button so they have added font color white background color red and they have given some padding around to look it like a button this is a code for that they have given anchor tag link and visited means both link and visited should look like this and this is the css for that where they have given padding text decoration text align and color background etc and that's why we don't see different colors for a link and visited link because they have grouped it and for hover and active they have grouped it to look like a, a more red color when user hovers over it yeah so that was not new and let's look at our next chapter so our next chapter is to create a bookmark what is bookmark let me give you one example suppose you are reading a book and you were on some page the page number is not there let's say and when you come back after one hour then you want to start from there only where you left at that time what we do is we fold a page in that book or we keep something in the book around that page so that when we come back we will start from there itself right so this is a bookmark way we use in our daily life the same way the link has its own bookmark strategy how it works is something which i can show you with the example so here on my screen you can if you look at it h2 is there which is chapter 4 let's say in which text is written right chapter 4 and i have added id to it so id is c4 which is chapter 4 you can give any id to this the point here is when we click on this anchor tag which is the second code there href c4 is written so that is not only c4 but hash c4 which refers to that id when we click on it so there are multiple chapters here let's say or the content and you want to scroll down to that content where that link or that heading or that portion is there but we have to click the link and in order to do that you must have seen many frequently asked question pages are formatted like this they have question and answer ready with them and the content is huge and in order to save the efforts of the user what they do is they list all their questions at the top as a link and when we click on that the page gets automatically scrolled to that particular question which we want to read the same way here in left hand side h2 is given let's say idc4 in which chapter 4 heading is there and i want the user to automatically get scrolled to this chapter 4 when user clicks on the anchor tag which i have created at the very top of the page let me show you the running output of it okay so here um, let me open the anchor tag of it here is the anchor tag where href is given c4 so the syntax of it to give that id as a reference to this href is with hash and c4 or hash and c10 or whatever the id is so here in our case it is c4 id to go to chapter 4 directly within the page and make sure you don't do any spelling mistakes while entering the id now chapter 4 is somewhere here where id is c4 and the same id we have referred with the help of anchor tag and when i click on this link see the effect the chapter 4 is automatically getting opened that is because we have referred that particular chapter with hash c4 which is nothing but the id and now we will try it with c10 hash c10 is written and the same id is written for chapter 10 
which is here id is equal to c10 so when we click on that second link which is jump to chapter 10 it will automatically scroll down to the c10 and we can move the id to paragraph as well like this and the paragraph is getting highlighted the page is getting scrolled to that paragraph instead of heading previously it was heading and i moved that id to paragraph i moved it back to heading and now when i run the code at that time when i click on it it gets automatically scrolled to that heading which is chapter 10. so this way you can create multiple bookmarks within the page and in order to bookmark the external pages we can do something like this in hrf we have to give the path of our different html file along with its id after the html so here after html if you see hash c4 was written so let me write it on my local machine to show you how it works so i have to just type the name of html file which i want to open and after that dot html i am writing hash and here i will be writing the id of that particular section which i want the user to be scrolled on automatically so the page gets scrolled when we click on this particular link and automatically contact.html's contact us section will open which is mentioned with this id so let me rename the file as this and let me open it in a notepad here this is contact.html file now and here i am writing some data but the data should be enough to create the scroll bar so here i will be writing id first which is contact us which we have targeted in our last page as contact.html hash contact us so this is the id and let's say this is the content and content should be enough to create the scroll bar as i mentioned so i will be copying this and paste it again and again so that it will create the scroll bar now let me open this in a browser to show you how it looks and for now before we do that let me write some headings as well above our id which is contact us because by default if we keep this at first then scroll bar is at first at the top only and that's why we have applied some h1 tags there just to create the space let me open it here is our link when i click on that link the page is getting opened and the scroll bar if you look at it it is at the middle of the page because we have applied ids here somewhere and that's why this is getting highlighted and above that you can see the h1 we have put okay so this was about external bookmarking we have covered today's topic thank you for watching